UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Wintelian TV. Another real quick game of Interplanetary I Spy going on here. I'll try and keep this under five minutes if I can. Uh, this was pointed out by one of my subscribers, and it's on 1087, Sol 1087. Uh, I'll show you who left the comment. I think it was a guy called Derek Worth, in fact. Here we go, Derek Worth. Here he is. He uh, spotted this thing and left me a link or left us a link to have a look and check it out. Um, it looks like a small man or a doll towards the top under the big overhang. Okay. So I downloaded the image, had a look, and he's absolutely right. It does look like a little dude or doll or something. Doesn't mean it is, uh, of course. But as we know, a lot of these things are optical illusions or just interestingly shaped rocks. Here's the, the little thing in question here on the top right of this image. Links will be below, as usual. So let's get straight on with it. Let's not hang about. I'll show you the raw image. Now, of course, these don't look great when you zoom in because they pixelate, obviously. But even so, even though this thing is only a couple of inches long, maybe, no more than three inches, um, it does seem to have legs and an arm here and a sort of little head. Even in the raw image, you can see that there's something there, and it's very reflective as well. And there, there's some, one or two other things here as well, that possible little bone here, could be an animal bone. There are some weird little things around in this area, uh, and most of it is just sediment that's dried out. But there's also wet sand up here. I know Will likes to go on about this, he spotted loads of this stuff. I've seen it, I see it all the time in these images. Running off the, uh, the, these ridges, you get damp sand where the the frost melts in, in the uh, morning or afternoon and melts into water and runs into the sand which then absorbs it so you get these wet patches so that's all over the place it took um, took I think NASA a couple of years to catch up with us researchers on that one so there we go we are ahead of the game with a lot of these things or at least ahead of the public's perception of what's going on NASA obviously know a lot more than they're letting on and they don't necessarily tell us or the public for two or three years until after they found it. So there we go. But um, I'll, sh I'll really quickly show you the, uh, the enhancements I've done. I'll show a raw clip here. That's just a raw clip. Uh, all I've done is enlarge that slightly. I haven't actually done anything to that apart from enlarge it. But enlarging these things can help actually because it, it, it can actually smooth the image out slightly. And there's, there's some funny features on this thing. Um, is it a, a doll? Is it something else? Probably something else. I'll show you an enhanced version of it now. Uh, there we go. And if you get too close, it doesn't look very good because obviously it just, it's a very small object. Even though it's not very far away, it's still very small. Uh, so what I did, I just I, I uh, color corrected the image. I put a bunch of contrast in there to bring out the shape. And I've sharpened it up a bit. As you can see, it goes a bit fuzzy when I get too close because I've sharpened it. But that does kind of help bring out some of the detail here if you don't go too far. I actually hand sharpened that with a sharpen tool and went over it very carefully. Not, not the whole image, just this part here. And there's a weird thing here that seems to be joined to this thing as well. It was a bit like a, a whistle or something, but uh, it's very, very reflective. In fact, this was so reflective this thing here and this little doll thing, I actually think it's metallic. Um, I had to actually dull this down because it was so bright that uh, it, it really hurt my eyes. So I, I went over it with a darken brush just to darken it, just to make it possible to look at the image because it was highly reflective and, and glinting uh, where the lights caught it. And it does kind of look like a little head with eyes, but it's probably just a little rock, I don't know. We don't know what's on Mars, you've got to keep an open mind. You never know with these things. People, a lot of people out there are, are way too quick to rule these things out when they haven't really done any research, uh, which I think is immature and premature even. Uh, but there does seem to be a, a shiny metallic part to it here and what looks almost like a robotic little arm coming around here and a sort of hand or knuckles here and a little finger even sticking out there. But when the images are this small or artifacts are this small and the images are this poor we really cannot determine exactly what we're looking at here at all because there's not enough detail in these images to do that this is right on the limit of what you can get out of these images uh, 
But there, are, there do seem to be a couple of legs and a, like a robotic arm and a funny little head with almost ears sticking out here with two eyes and a, I mean, it's probably an optical illusion, but it could well be a toy. It could well be a broken toy, discarded like a doll or, or something, or a little toy robot doll, or who knows. Uh, I have found other things that look like dolls and little toys on Mars. Some of them look like they're made of plastic, some look like they're made of metal, um, all sorts of things. So don't rule it out, as I always say. So uh, that was it for that one, guys. I will put a few clips of this in at the end, but I'll keep this nice and short for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.